Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. We're going to drink a beer that I did not know this brewery made more than one beer. They are almost open in their new in their new brewery, but as of right now, they are a contract brewer. I did not know they made more than one. Um, this is a West Coast Red Ale from Cowbell Brewing Company. This is Doc Perdue's Bobcat. Doc Perdue's Bobcat. Uh, where are, these guys are from Blythe, aren't they? Yeah, Blythe. Blith? Blythe? B-L-Y-T-H? I'm gonna say Blythe. Doc Perdue was Blythe's veterinarian in the late 1880s, who had a penchant for collecting exotic animals and a love of drink. When once cut off for being overserved at the local saloon, he marched home and returned with a bobcat on a leash, threatening to let it loose if he didn't get another drink. I don't know how true that story is, but that's awesome. Drink it in a regular pub glass at 3 degrees Celsius, uh, 30 IBU, 5.5% alcohol. Um... We uh, don't have anything else on here, really. Um, well, there's tasting notes and pairing notes, but I'm not going to really read those. I was thinking there might be ingredients, but there isn't. Um, yeah, let's get into this. Actually, one last thing before we get into this. Yeah, there's a crown, so if you're wondering who makes their cans, it's Crown Holdings. Uh, that only comes up to some people uh, for the crown strike and all that. I don't really care. But some people do. So we'll put it out there. It's not like you have many choices when it comes to cans. Um, there's what? There's Ball. There's Crown. And there's uh, there's one other fairly large can producer for beverages. And I can't remember them off the top of my head. But, uh... Yeah. There we go. That is a beautiful reddish beer. Uh, very hazy, but a beautiful redded. I guess it's more of an amber hue because it has that it has that brownie to it as well. But uh, it comes off as ruby red right down here at the bottom, but the rest of it's got that brownish note. Uh, off white head, snap, crackle, pop. Very apparent. Let's give it a sniff, shall we? Wow, that is a. Uh, it come, it's a West Coast red ale, so you know it's going to be hoppier, and uh, it does kind of remind me more of an American red than than what I would think of for a West Coast. Usually, West Coast at least has some some uh, tropical notes to it, and at least to me. Um, but I guess I guess that is the other the West Coast IPA. Some of them do come off this way. It's kind of floral. Floral and piney. Floral and piney with a little bit of uh, floral and piney with a little bit of orange undertones. Um, not really the smell I like. There, there's also a little bit of malty caramel in there as well. I actually didn't mind their uh, absent landlord, which was their their Kolsch. It was actually a good Kolsch. Uh, but, like I said, why why start off with that? And then they came up with this, which is actually great. You're going in an entirely different route. You're uh, bringing out a hoppy beer to go along with your blonde. It works. Uh, whether or not I'm going to like this, who knows? Let's try it. Cheers. Oh, that went down the wrong hole. Oh. I'm sorry to uh, Cowbell Brewing because I don't cut this stuff out because I hate jump cuts, but um, that makes it look like I didn't like your beer and had nothing to do with your beer at all. I had to do with it just slightly going down the wrong spot in my throat for a second there. Ooh. Okay, so all I really get from that is the back end taste. Back end taste, a little piney, a little bit of that uh, dirty resininess, and a tiny touch of char. So the background taste actually isn't bad at all. Um, let's try this again. Cheers again. Okay. Light. Light to medium mouthfeel. 
a little bit of caramel, a little bit of just malty sweetness with caramel, middle, a little bit of that orange flavor, and that dirty, resiny, uh, somewhat piney finish. All in all, this is actually a nice little beer. This reminds, you know what? I can't, I can't take credit for that. Uh, Ashley Sexton commented on my beer haul video and said that she thought this reminded her a lot of Cayman Kettle's Red Hopper. I don't think it reminds me a lot of it, but I do, I do see the similarities. Uh, excuse me. I find that the Red Hopper had more fruitiness to it and less of that uh, dirty resininess. And in that aspect, I think I liked the Red Hopper a little bit more than I like this. Uh, but yeah, I can see how this would be close to the same in, in a lot of eyes. It's It just seems like a slightly different hop bill, really. And other than that, a lot the same. It's a good little beer. It's a good red... It's a good hopped red ale, because as most of you know, when it comes to red ales, what I want is a just nice, mellow, malty beer. And that's not what this is, but that's perfectly fine. It works the way it works. No, that's really nice. And it's not cold. It tells you to, uh, it tells you to serve it at 3. And it's probably at uh, 13, maybe 14. And it works perfectly. What do we have here for taste? Bright citrus. Okay, I don't really get bright citrus or zesty tropical fruit. I do get the piney spice, though. I do get some uh, some citrus, like I said. But uh, bright citrus and zesty tropical, I do not pick up. Uh, the piney spice, I do. Uh, pairing, barbecue, yeah, I can see that. Spiced dishes, yeah, I can see that. Pub fare, mm, I think. I think pub fare and sharp cheese this might overtake. It doesn't really. It's not really a rinser, but you know, you could do it. You could do whatever you wanted. Uh, out of 10 on this, I'm going to give this a, I think I gave Red Hopper a 7.5, and I like that more than I like this. Um, I think I would give this a 6.75. It's a solid beer. It's a very drinkable beer. There's nothing wrong with this beer. You should go out and try this beer. It's just not, it's not enough to fall into that 7 and up, which for me is the, I would go out and uh, actively search it out and buy it again. So this is like a C++ to me. It's a good beer. It's it's fine to drink, and I would drink it if I if it, it was choice was between this and say I don't know uh, Bush. I would choose this any day. Uh, if the choice was between this and Rickards Red, I would probably choose this again. Uh, if the choice was between say this and Red Hopper, I'd go Red Hopper. Uh, but thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir, au bientôt. See you soon. Bye bye. Mwah.